All right, folks, I am recording one more session today, and um, we still got the same art piece here, which we've been working on for a while, the Mind Flare, but I really enjoy how the um, line art is coming out here, and uh, we'll just keep it going. We'll kind of get like another underlayer to this armor here. Gonna do it like that. Let's um, give it some texture, I guess. And then we'll put it again also on this side, like that. Something like this where it's like clothes, line weight. I mean, I've been using line weight for my shadows, um, which I kind of like. And then this arm is going to have some folding going on in the clothes here. shadow down here. Gonna cross hatch this time. Yeah, I'm really enjoying how this is uh, light artist turning out. Pretty clear. I'm gonna give him a bolder outline now so that we can kind of differentiate him from the background. I, now I did this a lot in um, when I was teaching art to kids. Um, you know, we would use ballpoint pens and we would like make like just thicken our lines for inking, and I think it is a good practice. There are times you do want thin lines for inking when you want to focus on like the mass of the figure. Um, but this time he has a background behind him, so I want to make sure he does pop out a little bit from there. So up here, I'm not gonna make it too much thicker because it is more lit up here at the top. Gotta make these decisions on the fly. This is looking pretty good. I like my line art here. So we're gonna go all the way around. And we're, we're also gonna add to our metric because this is what we're adding to the metric, recorded drawing time. And again, we're just gonna go for quantity, just pure quantity. I don't know how much, um, you know, how many times I'm gonna do this and upload it to YouTube and how many people are going to be watching this and maybe people are even going to unsubscribe because they're like oh his, his content's so boring it's repetitive but for me this is a this is documenting my progress as an artist also so i mean i am bantering to you guys about you know what i'm thinking about while i'm drawing but I'm all, i also get to see like the actual technique like if i actually play these back and watch it i can see hey how how inefficient are my lines and what can i do to improve them how inefficient is my progress is talking distracting me too much can we add music, you know? So it's like the recorded draw time itself is a, is a rep that we can improve on scientifically. Like the, a big one being recently I discovered that my audio was bad because when my iPad had Bluetooth on, it was trying to connect to my car, even if my car's speaker was off um, and it would ruin the sound quality of the video. So I recorded a video that was pretty long um, 
but the sound quality was terrible, so I didn't even upload it to YouTube because I didn't want people to be li listening to that anymore. I had like one or two videos that had that level of poor sound quality and I just, it was regrettable. So now when I record one of these, I make sure my Bluetooth is off. Let's get some texture here. Okay, this is pretty good for the mind flare. Just anything that feels like it should be a thicker outline, especially here in the hand and arm, because this is like the closest thing to us, we're gonna thicken it. Excuse me. When I go silent, it just means like some of this is requiring actually more concentration. Since I'm not zooming in and out, I want to make sure the line quality on the fingers is really nice, but I have to be more precise here. there to get the shading on the arm. I think this is pretty good. Okay. I suppose now we can actually start getting to the nautiloid. Yeah, see, I really like having a, a nice black brush like this because I can get a lot of clarity in the line art. And to me, this the process of this is much more clear than using a round brush with, with like some opacity controls. And um, ultimately with that, I'm like, I'm, I'm painting more than I am drawing, and with a piece like this, I don't have time to paint. Even with the colors, I'm going to try to keep them kind of simple. I don't want to overdo it here. Let's just stop there. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll, we'll do the nodloid. Now, we're going to make the brush even smaller here. We'll call the next layer Nautiloid 3. And then we'll kind of start here. Let's make the brush even smaller. Let's make it the minimum 1% here, just the lowest possible brush size. And we'll just kind of like start stroking in. Now I'm wondering if I should even use a different color, like a half gray, so that it's not as... Uh, yeah, I think like a half gray here. That might be good. Yeah, maybe a little bit darker than this. And I'll just keep it like silhouette here. Like this. Keep our strokes straight, but, but human, you know? I'm not using the straightening tools. Especially because this is an organic shape. I think I'll stop there, um, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See you later.